What's up guys? Welcome back to the Minnesota State Mavericks Dynasty and today the number three Minnesota State Mavericks are at home 8-0 on the year taking on the 5-3 Eastern Michigan Eagles in a max showdown. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys drop a like. If you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below as we're going to take a look at recruiting. And I have made my final decision. This is going to be our last year in the MAC. I'm pretty sure we're going to win the MAC again. It's pretty obvious. But um, we're going to move to the Mountain West next season. And then, you know, we'll upgrade by conference when, you know, as we move forward here. Uh, but let's take a look here at everything. And uh, we're, we got a lead for our offensive linemen. That's always good. That's always really good. Um, we have, I think, like four or five scholarships left. I am not sure. We got a lot of recruits. Uh, yeah, we have five scholarships left. Uh, we're going to get all five of them taken care of. It's just a matter of who. Uh, but taking a look here at the top 25, Virginia Tech is the new number one. As uh, We're going to take a look here. Um, two through ten is Auburn. We're at, at number three, Minnesota State. Uh, four is Clemson. And then we have Georgia, Nebraska, West Virginia, who lost to TCU the week prior, uh, LSU, Oklahoma, and TCU uh, finishing at the top 10. 11 through 20 is Houston, o Oregon, uh, North Carolina, North Carolina State, Florida, Oklahoma State, uh, Stanford, Ohio State, Virginia, and Michigan State. And then 21 through 25 looks like Min Washington State, uh, Cincinnati, Kentucky, UCF, who we play later on this year, and Mississippi State. Other receiving votes go to Iowa, Penn State, Boise State, Baylor, Alabama, and Connecticut. Alabama and Baylor have dropped out of the top 25 after they took some pretty brutal losses a lot previous week. Conference standings look like this as Minnesota State is in the top of the, of the, of the Mac, uh, the English. Mac West, and then Toledo and uh, Western are five and four. One bowl, uh, one went away from bowl eligibility. Same with uh, Eastern, uh, although they played one less game on their schedule than us, or compare, or than Western and Toledo. Uh, Central Michigan four and four. Northern Illinois five and four. Ball State has been terrible at five or one and seven. In the East, you have at, or Ohio at six and two. Um, Kent State at four and one, Akron at two and two, UMass at um, one and three in the conference. Bowling Green has been struggling. Same with Miami of Ohio and Buffalo, who had a really strong start, has been falling off a little bit. They have only one conference win on their ski season so far, but man, it, it just been it's just been a huge comedy of you know everything in the MAC this year. Um, Brett Brown. Looking like a true Heisman candidate from here on out. Uh, he had seven touchdown, total touchdowns last game. And he has been proving to be one hot shot of a quarterback this season with 85, or 37 touchdowns and seven interceptions. Um, his completion percentage is a little lower, but he has been throwing the ball a lot more deep. Or he's been taking a lot more deep shots downfield. He has thrown for more yards per game um, and an average attempts. Is about 36 per game, so he's been throwing the ball a lot more. Uh, he has been sacked 15 times. We're trying to lower that number down, but it looks like with at least one more season to go, too, he could be the turning the the high point of our offense next year. Um, an award semifinalist, obviously, Brett Brown's up for quite a few awards. Um, it's not a surprise at all. Marcus Anderson and and Andrew Gilbert are up there as well, although they. Um, again, just a lot of awards to be had here. We even have uh, Burnett and Jackson up there for awards in the receiving category too, which is kind of surprising. Um, the Mackey Award. Henry Dillon's up there at six. Uh, no one in the Outland category. Not really surprised for the Remington category either. Uh, the Lombardi one is kind of one that I usually get, but I'm not. I'm surprised there hasn't been anybody there. Best linebacker. Nobody's in that category. The Thorpe Award, Anderson, Gilbert, and Hayden are all in that category, which is all in the top 10. That's pretty impressive. Uh, the Gorza Award, Marcus Schroeder's up there at in fourth place. And the best returner, Tavon Carlson. He doesn't have one for a touchdown yet this year, but we may be able to get one here in the next couple of uh, games here. We still have a lot of time to get one. 
Um, so nothing, nothing too big. We're still trying to keep our undefeated streak alive. It's gonna be a tough game against UCF. Like all these games have been tough so far. We've had a lot of close overtime wins that come to, at, at our disposal, I don't, and it's just kind of a miracle that we pulled off some of these. Like the one against Pitt was the one that was the most surprising. Um, Michigan was a little bit of a, a surprise too, but the way I just recovered the onside kick against Pitt, that was just, that was nuts. But anyway, enough about that. I digress. Let's get on with this game. It should be a good one. I'll see you guys on the field. And we are underway here from Mankato, Minnesota, as we're going to receive the kickoff, as we're going to take it out. Oh, uh, Tamon Tavon. No, couldn't get the edge. All right, whatever. Brett Brown continuing to show his dominance. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. Y'all know I love running the football. Blocks. Oh, but first play of the game. First play of the game. First play of the game. 88 yards. Let's go. Y'all, that was one heck of a start. Let's keep the momentum up, man. We got this. We've beaten these guys several times before. What is? What are they doing? Like I had two guys just running into each other. Pursuit, I should say. Mm. Now I gotta defend this. Setting that blitz. Oh, he got it. Oh, we did good. That was a good tackle, too. That was a good play. Third down, baby. Let's go. Third down. What do you got? Almost intercepted. Oh, let's go. Come on, D. Let's go. Oh, come on, Dylan. Oh, my God. What the what the hell was that? That was a terrible throw. I have to. And then the quarterback's going to take off because he, he thinks that everybody's covered and doesn't look at it. Oh, come on. Tackle him. Jesus, God. Y'all can't even tackle a freaking first grader. Catch the ball in stride. And then we're undisciplined and want to jump the snap, too. So that's always great, too. But it doesn't matter because it's a touchdown. We cannot be giving up this kind of crap early. There we go. Hey, at least someone caught a pass. Oh, you want to send blitzers? I mean, that's the price you're going to pay for blitzing. It really is. <laughs> Barrel throw forward first down. This guy's so good at running the football. He really is. Routes, then, I mean, if they cheese me with slant routes, I'm, I might as well just cheese them back with it. Gain of 12, first down and goal. They can't stop it. They can't stop it. Touchdown. What a tough run. That is sexy. This man is just a man. He is a definition of a man. Screen. There we go. Drive stalled out. That's what happens when you commit a clipping penalty. Go play in my playbook. They accept the, that one. Oh, God. Yes. Yes. This man. Everything this. about my playbook. Right? Is that what it is now? 
Yeah, they know everything. They know everything about my playbook. Cool. Freaking believable. I'm not happy with this field goal. I'm just going to be on the record and saying that right now. All these broken tackles got to stop. Take him down the first time. This would be great. Oh, good. We tackled him the first time. That's fantastic. Too bad he gained a first down. Defense and their short yardage package. That's too easy. We we suck at defense. This is only gonna get worse than the Mountain West. I guarantee it. Timeout. Oh my God. This is fucking pathetic offense. This is a goddamn joke. This is an embarrassment. This is what it is. Stop embarrassing yourselves. You are continuously embarrassing yourself. Stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. No. Nice try. I know that was a toss sweep to the weak side. As soon as you as soon as you've switched over, I'm like, yep. Toss sweep to the weak side. Can you stop throwing it to this guy? It seems like you only throw to him. Good God. There we go. Good job. We're not getting interceptions off of it, but we're definitely making the stops that we need to on it. Nice move. Get the first down. Look at Manny just go, man. He's just a monster. He's so good. Just fall forward. Give me some yards, man. 10 carries, 143 yards. Oh, man. Look at that tough running. He may have only gotten two yards, but it was worth every inch. Oh, Jackson! Come on, dude! In your hand, you gotta get it. You gotta get the run out, man. He just knows how to get the job. Oh, Carroll's in the game. Okay, gotta change it up. They know it's coming. Oh, what a catch! Arnold Thompson, six points! Such a run play. And I guess not. I guess they decided to do play action. And of course, Gunner Oaks is wide open. Cover 82. For the love of God. And somebody start tackling 26. We're not about to let him run all over us in the second half. Fullback screen. You've got to be kidding me. Or is that a tight end screen? Either way, it was still a screen pass. I just never kept... I never... Ugh. Cover your man. Wow, dude. I fucking hate this defense. Give it to him. So this man fights for every yard. There you go, Scooter. Give me, give me three yards, man. Put it in the end zone, Brett. There you go. Touchdown. Get him down. Come on. There you go. No reason to give up a gain of 30, but okay. Gilbert's got 10 tackles. 
10. Come on. You know what you got to do. Oh, nice deflection, Robbie. That's what I'm talking about. I just think he wasn't there on that on that route. He was he just wasn't there. Oh man, that was a great play call on third down. It was risky, but it was worth every second. You know, sometimes the pressure gets too big for those kind of players. And then they do better in smaller roles and smaller doses. And then they sh whenever the, they're the, the next man up, they step up. That's a good rate. You can't get us off the field much on third. Oh, no! Oh, I wanted to throw it over their heads, but I didn't do it. Ugh. Solid kick. Ten-point lead. He has to take the sack, man. Oh, third and 18. Here we go. Time's a ticking on fourth down. They're going to go for it. And I think the play call is obvious here. They're going to run. Or not. And he got his hand in there. Made the stop. Fourth down. No conversion. There you go. Mm. And we'll take that touchdown. See, that was better. That was way better. That was quite a game, actually. We actually performed really well in the fourth quarter. Um, defense stepped up and stopped the run game. We made a couple of defensive stops, and, uh, you know, we came out with a solid win, 24 points in the fourth quarter. Really hard to kind of beat that and keep up with it, to say the least. But that puts us at 9-0 and on the year. Uh, Manny Freeman really showed out today. I, I don't know. did he? I don't think he got player of the game, but he should have. He was fantastic, especially from the very beginning. He had a couple of touchdowns. Brett Brown had a couple of touchdowns as well, uh, throwing the ball. So his Heisman candidacy may still be intact, but we'll see. Uh, we have a couple of games left to go through in the season before the MAC championship. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys drop that like. If you're new to the channel at all, subscribe for more content. Until then, my name is Sim with Vengeance. You guys have been amazing. Peace out.